There's a lot going on in our world today. There is much suffering. Wickedness is rampant. Violence is everywhere. Sexual immorality and perversion is widespread. People are going hungry throughout the world. Natural disasters everywhere. The devil seeking to seemingly possess the minds of our children. Shoot, for that matter, possessing the minds of our older folk as well. Ungodliness increasingly becoming the norm. More and more people are losing hope. The world is sin sick and so much more. And all of us are affected in our own private lives by all of these evils in the world. Everything we see in this world today tells us the world and its people are in need of our prayers desperately. So today's daily note from God's word is just a simple reminder of what God tells us in James 5.16. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Prayer is one of the most powerful and essential aspects of our being a Christian. We have a direct line of communication with the Almighty, a channel through which we can pour out our hearts, seek His intervention and help for ourselves and others. James 5.16 tells us the impact of the effectual fervent prayer offered by a righteous individual avails much meaning it brings much-needed benefits, rewards, profits, gains, and advantages to the prayer and those being prayed for. Effectual prayer is more than mere recitation of words. It is a prayer with a purpose and faith. Effectual prayer is heartfelt and sincere with a deep conviction, petitioning God to act on our behalf or our behalf of another. Fervent prayer is that of persistence coming before God, like the persistent widow in Luke chapter 18, who kept seeking justice. We too should persistently bring our petitions and requests before God, knowing he has the answers and solutions to our problems. James 5.16 emphasizes that the prayer of the righteous man or woman avails much. It is the righteousness that we have been granted by and through Christ Jesus who became sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So as believers, we can come before the throne of grace boldly but humbly, bringing our petitions before God in our time of need. Our prayers, when aligned with God's will, have the power to move mountains, heal the sick, mend broken relationships, bring about salvation, and transform lives. Through the fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman, we can witness the miraculous works of God. So let us remember James 5.16 that our prayers hold the potential to impact not only our lives, but also the lives around us and the world. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. 